Hey guys, Brian from DDI Power Sports here. Today we're going to be working on the Polaris Razor 800. We're going to show you, with the help of DDI products, some ways in which you can help keep the driver and the passenger cool and comfortable throughout the riding season. So like most UTVs, the Polaris is no exception in that there's a, uh, a fair amount of excess heat. You take a, uh, a high output engine, you made that to a centrifugal clutch, and then you added a large exhaust system in a compact area, and you're just going to get a lot of heat. Moving the bed off of the chassis reveals a, a thin aluminum plate, which is, uh, you know, fairly marginal heat protection. Uh, I, I had did notice that pulling this apart compared to some of the previous year models that the newer Polaris, they did add some additional heat protection. However, with the help of DEI, we can take it a lot further. So here we have our air intake system along with the air filter and you'll notice it's right next to the exhaust. Now again, the OEM heat shields are here, here, and here. Uh, however, with the help of DEI, I think we can do a better job. Another thing we noticed here, uh, and also reading on some of the forums and uh, in general feedback, that there's quite a bit of heat coming from the main headers. Your highest heat point from the exhaust is obviously right next to the cylinder head. So what we're gonna do is we'll go ahead and take these off and we'll wrap them with our DEI exhaust wrap as well as install some additional heat shielding in here as well as some additional heat shield uh, here. Another thing we noticed was this, this hose here coming out and it's incredibly vulnerable as it comes right next to the rear tire. And there's no additional protection here so we'll be going, we'll, we'll go ahead and put some fire sleeve uh, or fire wrap product on this as well to add some additional durability and add some additional protection from any sort of debris that comes up off the wheel. And again, giving it some insulation from the, the header system here. The air intake system here that the OE applied a minimal amount of reflective material. We'll go ahead and finish this off with our own reflective material and uh, really making it uh, much more effective. So we'll remove the access panel here the clutch on the side of the engine. Notice here again they use some uh, sound absorbing material but nothing much in the way of uh, heat reflection. So there's a fair amount of heat that permeates uh, through this wall here as well as uh, vibration and sound. So we'll be addressing that issue. Uh, no real coverage or protection for the fuel line. So again as heat builds up through the clutch and slow running of the engine or slow riding the engine um, the potential for vapor lock is, is pretty high as all this heat just comes up it doesn't have anywhere to escape to so we'll be putting some some reflective fuel sleeve on there as well so we know that the UTVs get pretty hot when you're running in slow conditions so as a matter of protection we went ahead and installed our extreme heat barrier kit here uh, the OE had a, a small amount of heat shielding here factory wise but uh, pretty inadequate so this is a 10 mil aluminum shield uh, with a uh, fiberglass backing secured by uh, two self-tapping screws and offers uh, a fair amount of protection here, especially in the, the uh, engine area. <clears throat> Following up with that, we did identify some vulnerability down here with this hose, uh, like we talked about. So we went ahead and covered it with the DEI fire wrap. Uh, the nice thing about this is it's a, a thick silicone and with the uh, interior of a braided fiberglass so you get plenty of insulation and then with the thick outer silicone coating you get uh, a lot of abrasion and uh, impact protection so uh, with this tire uh, being right here we notice that's a pretty big vulnerability the nice thing about this pr particular material as well is that it's actually velcroed on so you don't have to remove any hoses and you don't have to drain any any coolant or uh, oil so uh, with this type of product it's it's really convenient and really easy to install we went ahead and removed the uh, OEM uh, heat shields, uh, remove the exhaust system, and uh, wrap the entire exhaust system from all the way to the muffler using our uh, black fiberglass wrap. Finished it off with our uh, HT uh, high temp silicone paint uh, coating the exhaust system. That uh, helps seal the, ex uh, the exhaust wrap as well as uh, prevents moisture penetration. We went ahead and replaced the aluminum heat shields uh, with our uh, titanium flexible heat shield. This is a 6 inch by 24 inch piece. It's flexible so we were able to uh, bolt right up to the main section of the exhaust here 
In addition, when used with the exhaust wrap, uh, you get a lot more heat prevention, both in terms of heat coming up into the uh, bed area, as well as moving forward into the cabin area. It also prevents a lot of the heat from uh, seeping into the air, uh, the air intake area. Well, we had the exhaust off and we were kind of looking over the uh, vehicle, looking for ways to, to further prevent uh, heat and cool things down. We went ahead and, uh, again, reflect to cool the entire air box area here, uh, just in addition to the existing heat protection. And just as a precaution, we had the vehicle apart, we went ahead and, and did it just uh, to take it one step further. One of the other things we did with this access panel is there's a lot of heat and noise that comes from the clutch assembly that we were talking about. And so we went ahead and li lined the uh, backside of this access panel with our boom mat product. It's a uh, sound and vibration absorption uh, product. It's a butyl rubber with a uh, aluminum facing. The aluminum facing will help reflect some of the heat back uh, away from the in or cabin area. And then the, uh, the rubber, the butyl rubber component will help absorb some of the uh, vibration and the sound that comes from the engine. We went ahead and used our heat sheath line sleeving on the fuel line. This is the main fuel line that goes right into the fuel rail. And again, back in this engine compartment, you get quite a bit of uh, heat, radiant heat, uh, coming from both the engine and the clutch assembly. So during slow riding or slow driving, um, you know, there tends to be a lot of heat in this pocket here. And what can happen is the gas starts to boil before it actually gets to the fuel rail. So by using the heat sheath material, that'll help reflect away a lot of the radiant heat. And it also offers a layer of insulation. So it keeps the fuel cool and uh, no stumbles, uh, especially during slow speed or slow driving. In addition to the fire wrap in the back, uh, next to the rear tire there, we noticed that there was a vulnerability up front here. And so we went ahead and used the fire wrap again, covering this radiator hose. Again, as debris and uh, stones, things come up from the front wheel, uh, especially on a four wheel drive vehicle, uh, there is a tendency to, uh, for stones and things to have a chance to, to cut this radiator hose. So just as a matter of precaution, we, again, we had the vehicle, we went ahead and lined the, uh, the front here. Uh, great precaution, especially all the, all the racers out there, if you're riding in rugged conditions. Um, you know, nobody wants to, to pour coolant all over and, and not finish a race. So it's one other step that we took. Again, nice uh, outer silicone uh, coating with the braided uh, fiberglass sleeving. One of the last products we added was our radiator relief coolant additive product. And that helps lower the surface tension of the coolant and increases the flow. And what that will do is lower the temperature, operating temperature of the vehicle, especially again during slow running conditions or really hot conditions in the summer. You only need to use one ounce per quart of coolant, but if you use a little bit more, it's not gonna earn anything. We showed you the original heat shield that comes on the vehicle. It's a small aluminum plate and uh, doesn't really offer a whole lot of protection from the heat, especially the radiant heat. Again, during slow going conditions or really any conditions, there's not a whole lot here. So what we did is we went ahead and put our line the bottom of the entire bed with our extreme heat barrier. And what that's gonna do is again, especially if you're carrying a cooler or uh, slow going, you're not gonna have that heat coming up and, and roasting uh, the, the back contents of the, uh, the vehicle. The nice thing about this is it's die cut, so it, slide, it fits right on the back. There's four more mounting points uh, along the bottom here. Really easy to install. You just put this along here and it acts essentially as a, as a blanket, uh, reflecting the heat back away and uh, not cooking the contents in the back of the bed. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions about controlling heat and sound on your ATV, UTV, or any power sports vehicle, please call us at 1-800-264-9472 or go to deipowersports.com.